comía Sasha pasaba, que ella estaba en la calle, en gangas. Sasha hung around with the gang. She had no respect for me. She used to arrive home very late, was aggressive, and was always fighting. She would even fight with her teachers at school. She wore indecent clothes that showed her waist and had piercings. I didn't like that. My mom never used to buy me clothes like that, but I used to make my own clothes. I used to tie my shirts in the back sometimes. I used to just do my own clothes, fashion way. Ella fumaba junto con sus compañeros de la pandilla. She smoked with her friends in the gang. She'd stay out past one in the morning. And where would she be? On the street corner with the gang. She was constantly in fights. Her attitude was really bad. She was only 12 or 13 years old, and that's not the age to have a boyfriend. She should have been studying. I wanted her to get a college degree someday instead of hanging around with boyfriends. From my life outside with the people I used to chill with, I only had two boyfriends, and I think one of them was aged 14 to 15 or 16 to 17. They were older than her, and I was scared they would get her pregnant or hurt her. It was awful to see her smoking marijuana and drinking at the age of 12. I used to never feel nothing. I used to just feel like, why am I doing this? Like, I used to think to myself, why am I doing this? But at the same time, I used to do it. It just felt good. I could not accept the situation. I hated seeing my daughter smoking with her friends. They were harming her. I felt destroyed. One night, it was past three in the morning, and she still had not come home and wasn't answering her phone. I remember asking God, what's happened to my daughter? I was so worried. When she did finally arrive, she was wearing a very short skirt and a tight shirt and had red eyes. She'd been at a party with dangerous people and all the usual gang members. When I used to go to parties, I used to dance, drink, smoke. Including, I used to go with my cousin, because like, if I go with my cousin, I felt like my mom would trust me. I decided to take part in the Israel Challenge. I saw it as my opportunity to change my daughter. I had taken part in previous challenges, but had never done it properly. I'd always been very relaxed about it. I'd give $10 and think, I'll give something, but I'm not going to put all my money into this. But my family was always getting worse. So I decided to do it right so that God would hear my prayer. Whenever I would see her in the street, I would say, God, this is my chance to change her. I'm going to make this challenge. It's all or nothing. I sacrificed $2,000. I'd saved this money to pay rent that I owed, but decided to use it instead for the Mount Sinai challenge. I thought, why would I save this money for the rent when my daughter is lost on the street? I'm not going to touch this money. I'm going to put all of it in the envelope and determine that this time my daughter is going to change. I put the money inside the envelope three days before the date of the challenge, and something was telling me, take it out, take it out. But I said, no, I'm going to give it. When I arrived at the church that day, the pastor invited us to the altar to fulfill our vows. When I came down from the altar, I had this conviction. My daughter will change. I started seeing changes two weeks after the challenge. Sasha said, Mom, I want to go to church with you. Yo fui a la iglesia, tomé servicio, me invitaron otra vez, y yo fui el otro día, creo que fue un sábado, y el deseo entró en mí por el grupo joven. 
Sasha viste muy bien ahora. Ya no quieres, ya Sasha no doesn't wear indecent clothes anymore. She got rid of her piercings. She used to wear a lot of makeup, and even that has changed. She's a child of God now. God has changed her. Dios ha hecho el cambio en mi hija maravillosamente. Yuku for me is my my second home. It's like my family. Because of the yuku, that was, that's what made me progress more in church. And I feel happy for myself. La campaña de Israel representa muchas cosas. The Israel challenge means several things. It's an opportunity for those who have a request and want God to grant it. It's a chance to change your life. It's an opportunity to solve any problem. Don't look at what you're giving. Look forward to what God will do after your sacrifice.